New York's tabloids blared the shocking accusations. The state's top law enforcement officer, Attorney General Eric Schneiderman, accused of spitting at, choking, hitting, or demeaning four women he dated. Claims New York's governor today promised would be investigated by an independent district attorney. No one is above the law. No one should be afraid to come forward. The women, two on the record who were in relationships with him for more than a year, two unidentified, telling their stories to the New Yorker. Michelle Manning Barish says one night Schneiderman called her a whore, and then all of a sudden he just slapped me, open-handed with great force, across the face, landing the blow directly onto my ear. Author Tanya Selvaretnam says we could rarely have sex without him beating me. The Sri Lankan native also claims he started calling me his brown slave. Three hours after their claims were published, Schneiderman resigned, saying in a statement he strongly contests the allegations and they are unrelated to his professional conduct, stating earlier, I have not assaulted anyone. His downfall all the more mind-boggling because Schneiderman, a Democrat, publicly was a champion of women, suing Harvey Weinstein for sexually harassing employees. We have never seen anything as despicable as what we've seen here. And investigating the Manhattan District Attorney's decision not to prosecute Weinstein for allegedly groping a model. Now the same DA will investigate Schneiderman. And I want to say to anyone who was victimized by the Attorney General and has not yet come forward, please do come forward to the NYPD. A public advocate accused of being a private abuser. Alleged actions that are secret no more. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.